Hello, my darlings. Today we're doing five wigs, the short and long of it, or the long and short of it. We're going to be doing a short look like this. That is a really cute, short pixie type of look and all the way to well played, which is a really long. And so everything in between, we're going to try on five different wigs, five different silvers, five different links and look. So this first wig that we're showing is Envy. I'll put up the particulars here so that it'll have the, the name of the wig and the color and where possibly where I did get it. I did purchase all these wigs in this video. They're all my wigs. And this first wig, the short of it. So I want to show you what a cute pixie might look like to give you some fun style, to give you some a fun look summery or wintry with a big scarf around it. Accessorize it. See how I added this black earring just to give it more an upscale look. Maybe you want some your reading glasses to be a little oversized and fun. Do the things that make you look more trendy that give that give it a nice give a nice contrast. Wear bright pink, purple, emerald green. Use brightness and try to go with a more vibrancy, um, but pull color on. Because when you go to try on a wig, don't wear no makeup. Be sure you have your makeup on. When the wet hair mail comes, be sure you have uh, makeup on before you put it on. Because you're not going to like it. When I see myself in the mirror, I don't, I don't like it when I have no makeup on. Gray hair, I just feel washed, totally washed out. Keep that in our youth, you know, we got up and we put on our makeup. Maybe, maybe, you know, maybe you didn't. But I think if you're here watching this today, you're wanting to elevate your look. You're wanting to either have a more ageless look. And so that's why I'm here to tell you some of the ways that I try to be a little more trendy and fashion forward with the silver hair. Extended nape in the back is wefted, is machine uh, wefted on the top with permatease here and this, vel this vel um, velvet here also and velvet ear tabs with the, the metal stays in it. So great cute little wig for a short, pi for a short pixie look. Our, our next, and excuse me why I look over here to grab the next, the next wig, I think I'll show this current events. So this is current events and I bought it from a wig sister. Several of my wigs, uh, quite a few of my wigs have come from wig sisters and influencers that resell them. So this is a really nice long bob, a lob. This is RL5660, it's called Silver. Raquel Welch and a nice density, I'd say average density to low. And I bought her from a wig sister and this wig sister had previously put in some rooted spray for just giving it some dimension. And I have washed her so a little bit stays behind but most of it has come out but I think you still see a tiny bit of shadowing. Does not have the extended nape. It's, it's wefted. You can see how light it is. And it's true to life fibers and it has the silicone here so it really stays to your head. Has a left part and the lace goes from the ear tabs to the ear tabs with the left part but it's so wide through here that you can pretty much get a center part on it if that's the look that you want to go with. She's so comfortable and I traveled back from the U.S. recently. I live here in the Netherlands and I wore her on the airplane. A nine hour flight, so three hours at the airport, nine hour flight, so it was a long day but she held up really great and if you're wondering can you get through customs and security with the wig on, you certainly can. So let's put, pop her on. I've worn her quite a few times because I just like the length. Let's take her up to the hairline. Let me give her some brush out. I wash my wigs. How I care for my wigs is I rinse them and bathe them, give them a nice cool bath in fabric softener. And that's how I like to pull my silver hair out in the front. That just gives it a nice blending effect here. I usually like to put my hair behind my ear there. Like I said, you can change the part a bit.
And there you go. That's Raquel Welch, Current Events, and Silver. And she is one of my favorite. I have another one, but she's not silver, so we're not going to see her today. But I'll show it to you in another time. Nice. Nice length. Nice bob lob, long bob. And what I like about her, when you look at this lace front, is that you can really see how nice that is in the front. I'm going to put my glasses on. Do you see that? How nice that lace front is? It is so natural looking. People are saying, let me see the lace front. Slow down. So I'm going a little slower today. But there's so many opportunities to be able to style it. Have some clips here to be able to pull it back if you want to. Just like that. Maybe put another one in. Show off that hairline. Therefore, fun. Bob, see how you can just style these. Don't be afraid to get in there and get you a wide tooth type of comb. First thing I do when I get a wig is soak it, fabric softener. And then I let it dry, roll it out in the towel, squeeze out the water, let it dry. You know, I have these little head wig stands here. So I just hang it back up and brush it out and let it dry. And then I like to just use, say, a dry shampoo. It knocks down the heavy, the shine on it, if there's any shine still left. And it just gives it a nice feel, a feeling true to like, like real fibers. It feels good when I touch it. When my husband touches, touches my hair, he does not know I have a wig on. There's so many times he's gotten used to it now, but in the beginning, I put on a wig and I mean, it's like, he didn't even notice I had a wig on. You know, it was like crazy. Um, because, and you'll have people with these Raquel Welch wigs and a lot of these wigs, Beltrass, all there's so many of them that just have these beautiful hairlines now. And you know what? I have people that will say, oh, what did you do with your hair? It looks so good. It's different. Last time I saw you, it just really throws them off. But they don't know it's a wig. I mean, they just look at it and they get closer and closer to inspect it and look at it closer and closer. And they still shake their head and go, I, don't, I can't believe that's a wig. So the wigs are really good now. So this is a fun one, great length. And not all silvers are created equal. So that might be the hardest thing to find is finding a wig that's your perfect silver. If you can go in and try a wig on, maybe that's the best way to go. Uh, well, I just, trust the process. I just buy the wigs thinking, well, I don't have that color. I think I'll try that one. I know it can be a lot of money when you're collecting these wigs and you might find that silver that just isn't right, but keep playing with it, whether you knock it down with some spray and root spray for rooting, or that might be one way to make you like it better. This is a great one. Current Events by Raquel Welch. Again, see how this plays off the black turtleneck. The black against the silver gives it contrast, makeup. If, if I had on a white turtleneck, I guarantee it would not look good. Throw on that jean jacket, throw on something that's going to break it up and give you some separation of gray to gray to gray. Make sure you have, make sure that you're not all gray. A gray face, gray hair, and a white shirt, a gray sweat, sweatshirt. Make sure that you're wearing color on your face, on your lips, your eyes, just something that separates, the, the, has some contrast with your gray hair and has some contrast with what you're wearing. 
and I think you'll be a lot happier if we do that. Okay, so that was wig number two. We got some, we've got some other wigs to get to, and this next wig, she's fun, she's curly, she is so lightweight, you can, I can, you can really almost see through her. So this is one you'd want to wear if you actually have, like me, silver hair. I think if you had dark hair, you'd have to wear a white cap or beige color so that you wouldn't see. It is so lightweight. This is a bell tress. She's a left part, just a regular nape with this bra strap tightener, velvet tabs with metal stays in there. And she's more of a temple to temple, lace front, left part. Coconut silver blonde. So she's got some nice blonde and silver running through her, through her. So not true white silver. So see how you can just have so many different looks. So this is for the days that you want to have some fun. And pull the ear tabs down, pull her up on, on your hairline. Again, I always pull out my own. And this has hair that's sewn into the ear tab. So I like to make sure I pull and get that hair out because that's just going to make it look more of your, like your own hair, like it's growing right out of your scalp. So see there how nice that looks. But it does have come down here to, the ear, to this tab, see? So you got to keep some of that down. But you can pull it back, style it back, put some heat on there. And that's just, oh, gosh. Just some days you just got to have curls, you know? I would say this is the lightest weight, one of the lightest weights wigs I've ever worn. I think the more that you do a little bit of style in it, the more it doesn't look like a wig. I think it takes it from that wigginess. So don't be afraid to get in there and play with it and loosen up the hair on it and the hairline. Put in some wax, you know, really juice it up. I mean, if you want some really oomph, if, if you're that big volume girl, get in there and just add some, put some spray into it and just add that that volume that you're that you're wanting see how much you can just really get the volume going in this and it's it's the low it's probably the lowest density wig i have and it just looks like it's tons of hair but it is not when you put it on you were just shot so this is that vienna roast coconut silver blonde i bought it from a wig sister who said the color just wasn't her cup of tea it was not her cup of tea but it was mine so but i like to try all different color colors i have brunette wigs rose gold so you'll be seeing some of those wigs in the future yeah cute right very cute lots of style i think she's a, a good one to give it a try for the days you don't want straight, you don't want pixie, you want some volume, some curl, she's going to give you that. Hello. Now I'm going to put on um, Claire. Now she was my very first wig I ever bought, and I bought her on Amazon. She's a John Renault Claire, and she has a temple to temple, full, right here you can see, top monofilament with the lace. The rest of her is wefted. She does have an extended velvet. She has the extended tab here with the adjusters, Velcro adjusters. No permatease really, maybe just a slightly in this area here, but really just the, the tiniest bit of permatease up in this area, not much. But she is a really, I mean, I would say pure silver. And she was my first one. And let me tell you, ladies, maybe not the smartest one for my very first one because I have such thin hair. You get used to not having hair. 
So when you do buy a wig, it's like you have hair again. It almost seems like too much. It's almost like your eyes going, oh, but that's really weird because that's too much hair. It really isn't. It's just that it's not what you're used to to sing on yourself. So what you have to do is when you get a wig is put it on and wear it and wear it and wear it. Eventually you're going to get used to seeing yourself with more volume. And then you're going to be able to even try color wigs and different wigs and long wigs and short wigs and say, I can wear, I can wear them all. But it just takes getting used to seeing yourself. That's always looked funny when my when I first put it on, it's way down there. Under these lights, she's really seems bright. When I first got here, I remember thinking this was just so much hair. And it was as more hair than I've had in my probably entire life. But you're gonna find that let me get this hair in the front, pull down, pull that back, push in my these metal tabs, gets it a more secure fit. Now right now she's parted basically almost in the middle. You can spray her with some water or wig spray. She's synthetic, so you cannot really use heat on her. You could use steam. Well, she's full monofilament, so you can part her wherever you want to. So I'm going to go down the middle like that. Maybe off center just ever so slightly. So this is my drama girl. When you look at back at from a year ago, some of my makeup videos, I'm wearing her. And I've got, I have gotten so many compliments on this Claire. All of these wigs that I've been trying on are average. I have an average circumference. You wanna make sure that you measure when you're ordering wigs. Can't usually return them. So see like that, bring it back. My trusting clip. And that's just going to begin to give you a little bit more style. Maybe you don't want to feel like it's falling forward. Push it over back. But try different things that's so going to give you, see, no, no earrings. I had some fun earrings for drama. That's what it looks like here on the front. All of these wigs, this is John Renault, have gray hair lines. And if you want to get these back, like I said, soak them in some fabric softener, let them dry. You can spray it down with, if it seems too shining. And of course with this, this studio lights, can you see how that knocked that shine down? And she has a lot more, a lot more hair. But you can do things to style her back. Really struggled wearing her in the beginning out and about because I just felt like it was a lot to get used to. But as I said, I got more wigs. I started wearing wigs more and more almost every day. And I got to the point where wigs no longer made me feel uncomfortable. And so nobody knows that I don't have real thick hair, right? In real life, when I run into people, there's so many people that naturally have this much hair when I style it. So, you know, people don't know because where they go to look at, they look at the hairline and go, well, that looks like her hair. That looks like it's really growing out of her hair. What I like about this wig is that if you wanted to style her back with braids, you could actually come back with braids back here. Pull it back, style it. Pull it back here, again, pull it back. Sometimes when I do that, I feel like it just takes the volume down, that it doesn't seem like so much hair. So you may want to try that. 
Put some dry shampoo in. See how that knocked down that, it, that shine that was under there? And yes, that's it. Just play around with styling your wig. Maybe pulling it back some like that. And see how now it feels like a more manageable hair? Where before, when it's just down in my face, it feels like too much weight. feels like too much weight down in my face and feels like it's just too much hair. So those are some tips I would suggest doing. You've got a gray hairline. Show it off like it's, it's your real hair. But see, that looks like half the density of hair that it looks like when it's just all full down on my face. Put it on, look in the mirror, wear it through the house, see yourself, your reflections when you go by the window or when you're in the house, you know, see your reflection. It's going to make you more comfortable with the wig, wig wearing and getting used to it. Because of course, when you pull your wig off and this is what you got, this is what you have. That's, that's what you have to work with. So Love this person too. Love her. Love the fact that she doesn't have hair, that she has little hair, that is thin, that is white. This last wig that we're going to try on is Raquel Welch, well played. I have hair all over me now. And she may be one that I've enjoyed the most wearing sometimes. You know, she again was one of my um, ones I got last year. Probably the second wig I ever got. This was after Claire. She was my second wig. And I just wanted long hair, right? And she is long. And I love her. I can wear her so many different ways. Extended nape with the Velcro tighteners, uh, the velvet ear tabs with the metal stays. She's the left part with a bit of permateasing. She's got that permatease right in this back crown area. And... Uh, Temple is basically to the ear tabs uh, with the lace front is ear tab to ear tab. Now you might be looking at these and, and I wore this recently so I have a bit of makeup here in the front. You know what I do if I get too much makeup in it and um, I'm not ready to wash her out yet? I use micellar water and I use micellar water to clean up around the face. Sometimes your silver hair gets in your lipstick or your mouth, and the micellar water just has not damaged my wigs. And it just gets that, it'll get that makeup just right out or lipstick off of it. So this is Raquel Welch, well played. One of my last wigs, I was wearing her. Look how long she is, I love her. And just like that, Put it up at my hairline, just the tabs, push in the metal stays, and let's get a little bit of style on her. I feel like she's the closest to my natural hair color, the silver grays are. So when I'm wearing her, I guess I just feel like a, it looks really natural. And all of y'all's comments on that last video that I had done with her wearing her everybody said gosh she looks so natural on you look at that i love her i love how she fits i love how silver hair blends with her and how she feels now to keep her smooth and soft like you see her now is she did get um, a soak recently about every four or five wears not every week but every four or five wears i will put her in a bath a cool bath to soften her with fabric softener and put in some leave-in conditioner spray for wigs. I run a heat tool because the back in this well plate will get um, feel frizzy here in the back because she's long and you know you're leaning against a chair, maybe you're laying on the couch, you're driving in the car, and you're just rubbing against her, against those fibers. And they will get like little corkscrews or what we call frizzy, but they're like little corkscrews. Want to spray it with some leave-in conditioner, silicone spray. Run at a, um, a heating device that's low temp that you can use on a heat friendly and run it through it on, to get those corkscrews and the frizziness that comes with having a longer style. And you're going to be much happier with it if you do that. So it's, your wig is not ready to get rid of when you go, oh my gosh, but it feels so frizzy. What am I supposed to do? And you just want to soften it and the heat will help soften those ends up more. So this is my Raquel Welch Well Played. 
and she's nice and long with layers. And I just love her. I can put a cap on her, a hat if I want to. Um, I do like to style her in different ways. Maybe leave the front down like that. I like to also put, I'll put these little bands in like that. And look at that, just fun. You know, if you've got a ball game to go to or someplace that you're going to be in the wind a lot, just like that. Put some ties in, put a couple of ponytails in, leave some of this face framing part down. Pull up my gray sideburns to blend that in. See, and just like that, you have a really fun, playful look. Put a ball cap on. Maybe it's winter. Put, put a stocking cap on. And you have a nice, fun, out-of-your-way hair. And by pulling it forward like that, and you're wearing, you know, like a scarf and a, and a winter coat and a jacket. It's going to not get as tangly. Of course, you can pull her back. There's so many things you can do with your wigs and looks that you're going to really love them better where you don't feel like your wigs look wigging. Super nice. One of my favorite, favorite wigs to wear. So now you can see how long it is. Wear it back, tuck it behind your ear. What I do on these ear tabs is I try to just a sliver with my own hair. Gives it a really nice natural look. Put it behind this ear. There's so many ways to wear your wig especially this length, and give it a different look and style. Maybe you want to do that and then pull this up. See how you can pull that back? So which was your favorite wig? Leave it down in the comments below. I'll see you here next time. Doing my darlings. Bye.